All right, everybody, welcome to the channel. You're probably tired of seeing the Telluride get washed, but guess what? It's filthy, just got back from a road trip. So everything is bugged up. Got a good road film down the side. Wheels and tires need some help. So perfect uh, opportunity to test out all this Jay Leno's uh, stuff. So we're gonna start with the wheels and tires first. We got the Jay Leno's heavy duty rubber cleaner we're gonna use on the tires and fender wells. And then we have the Jay Leno's wheel cleaner, their designated iron remover, quickly dissolves that brake dust and tough road grime. So we'll see about that. We'll see how they perform today. And just like I said, we're gonna start with the wheels, or wheels and tires in this first video. I'm gonna break them up into separate videos. We'll have the wheels and tires first. Then we'll come back with the foam cannon soap and the APC pre-rinse. And uh, this is the Harbor Freight foam cannon, so stay tuned for that as well. And then we'll get into our protection back there and interior as we go through the products here. But let's start off with the wheel and tire. Let's get in here close. You can see it's real browned up. Went from Louisiana to Oklahoma. Lots of construction. Lots of Oklahoma dirt, dust, pollen, construction dust. Add in your normal brake dust and it's just everything's just filthy so we're gonna really put Jay Leno's to the test cleaning up the old Telluride because it needs it if you're new to the channel just remember this vehicle is coated so it should be easier to clean up in the first place but definitely still a good test for the Jay Leno's products so we're gonna get into it and check it out let's get into it we're gonna add some vehicle wash to our bucket our wheel bucket and our soap bucket just to add some extra lubrication for our brushes. All right, the brushes we're gonna be using today on the channel, you can find over at Car Supplies Warehouse. We got wheel woolies, we got work stuff brush, we got the wheel mitt, work stuff wheel mitt. I'll put links in the description below to Car Supplies Warehouse and probably to the individual links to all these products. If you wanna check them out, go check them out. But let's clean this wheel and tap.
right, so that was one pass with both the tire and rubber cleaner and the wheel cleaner. We're gonna let this air dry while we do the other three tires. Then we'll come back and see how clean the rubber cleaner got the tire. And we'll check in on the wheel. As you can see, the coating performing very well, still looking good. So iron remover cleaned it right back up. We'll see how it looks when it dries a bit. All right, we just finished all four tires. We're back to the original wheel and tire. You can see it's pretty clean. These were pretty dirty. They probably could have went for another pass, but they're sufficiently clean enough where you can throw on just a tire shine. I might wipe them down one more time just because we're going to try out that ceramic dressing. We want it to last as long as possible. So this is probably get another wipe down. But you saw all the brown it pulled off in one pass. And it was so much, it probably could have used another go around. But the wheel cleaner brought back to life the coating. And it's looking really, really clean, looking really good. Let's check out products. I also threw them in a Morlax sprayer. So I post the video up here to the left. You can check it out right here. Foam it up, foamed up really good. If you want to stretch the products, you can throw them. I threw them both in here. That way you got the wheel and tire cleaner all in one. It's what I do at Brake Buster and Iron Buster as well. Putting them in the IK Foam Pro 12. There you go. The heavy duty rubber cleaner, really strong stuff. The wheel cleaner smells really good. I didn't catch really any whiffs of iron remover. I don't know if I'm just that used to it or what, but I thought this smelled really good for a iron removing product. Uh, it may have been a little on the weaker side, or maybe we just didn't have all that much iron removing going on. That may associate with the weaker, with the uh, you know better smelling product. Also, maybe just be a weaker. A dilution of an iron remover but either way it cleaned up the wheel real nice brought back the coating on the wheel this is jay leno's dynamic duo of wheel cleaning wheel and tire cleaning products so pretty good stuff i'll drop links for them in the description below with all the brushes and stuff to car supplies warehouse they are affiliate links to car supplies warehouse so if you want to support if you like the review you can do any shopping through those links not just for jay leno's but whatever else you got that you want to buy from car supplies warehouse go check it out help support the channel help support's an awesome company we got more jay leno's to review we're really going to put them to the test as you saw here i put them in the foamer foamer you saw them straight you saw them in the foamer so we're going to continue to do that even a little bonus here at the end i tried out radiant on the passenger side the wheels were looking a little flat so i threw radiant on there to see if it could be a, a touchless Kind of a spray and rinse sealant and it performed fantastic as you're seeing right here in the video this stuff smells really good it's supposed to be a three to four month uh, sio2 spray sealant of course it says spray coating because you know that's what they do for some reason but there you go oh one more thing the sprayers are probably the worst sprayers i've ever used they're really bad really bad sprayers but that's all i got all right next we're gonna check out the soap and the harbor freight foam cannon with the all-purpose cleaner as our pre-rinse. Stay tuned for that next video. Like, subscribe, stay tuned.